you talk a little bit about what the process was like with DFS when you were going to launch PYUSD? So NYDFS is no joke when it comes to the regulatory structure, the rigor, and I think they have almost 75 people now working full-time uh, in the digital asset division. So, um, you know, you compare it to some other states that have zero or one uh, full-time people in that space. So uh, the rigor is very, very rough. The bar is very high. Uh, you know, what did they want to know for PYUSD? So the state path has really been forged by New York State, and the stablecoin guidelines that the NYDFS has put out are, in their words, not just guidelines, they are the rigor uh, that you will be regulated by. So reserve management, one-to-one -one backing, bankruptcy remote protection, multiple legal opinions to back that up, uh, New York State banking law uh, to back that up. You can't rehypothecate the assets. You can't borrow against them. You can't lend against them. You can't invest them in anything but short-term treasuries or cash. They want to know that this is going to be, at worst, a dollar, uh, and at best, that it could operate with some of the futuristic aspects of a stablecoin. Can you talk a little bit about why you think PayPal did this, or why did they want to launch PYUSD? Like, why now? So to them, I think this was really threefold. One, can they move money faster? Can they move it globally? Can they move money uh, for near zero cost? I think the second is merchants in many markets, and this was mentioned by several uh, panels before, uh, merchants in many of their markets prefer to receive dollars, but ha don't have a really easy legal or transparent way of doing so. Um, the third is that I think this just makes their product stickier to do the regular everyday things that their customers and their users are already using PayPal for. You know, PYUSD is very new. It's eight weeks old, right? It, it pales in comparison to USDC and even our other stablecoin, USDP. But more than 11 million people have traded PYUSD in six weeks. I think that's a really, really critical sign of where the retail world can be if given ease of access, right? And outside the crypto native world, uh, where again, I think we'll see a lot more growth.